Today, we are going to be finding the name of the ionic compound CaCH3COO2. Now, the first thing is, is that if you have three or more elements in your ionic compound, three or more distinct elements or different elements, you know that you have at least one polyatomic. So the easiest thing is to spot out the polyatomic and then work from there. We have more than three elements, right? We have calcium, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So I know that there's a polyatomic here. Keep in mind that your polyatomics are never going to be found on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I put the one that we're going to find here. In this case, they show it as CH3COO, but it also can be seen as C2H3O2. Both of these have a negative one charge, which you should memorize, and this is the polyatomic called acetate. So this whole thing, CH3COO, is my polyatomic. And then since it's a ionic compound, the CA, which is the calcium, is the metal. Ionic compounds have to have a metal in them. And the calcium is right here on the periodic table. So let's start naming. The metal name always goes first, and the metal name always stays exactly the same. So if it's CA, it's just calcium. Since we're dealing with the polyatomic here, the polyatomic names always stay the same. So since this was acetate, this is acetate. And just as a final check, since calcium is not in your transition elements, you do not need a Roman numeral. So we are done. So Ca, CH3COO2 is calcium acetate. And that's it. Hopefully this helped guys. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys all in future lessons. Bye-bye.